Hey guys, welcome to the seventh video in the Python for Everybody series. Um, I hope you're uh, doing the exercises yourself and checking the answers here. So without further ado, let's get started with this uh, chapter's, chapter's exercises. So in the chapter 8, uh, the book talks about lists. So the three exercises we will see today will be about lists. Okay, let's get started with the first one. So uh, to do this exercise first, you need to download this text file. I already have it here. Make sure to have it in the same folder as uh, the script you're going to create. Okay, I have it here in my folder chapter 8. Now, we need to open a, uh, to use a program to open the file and read it line by line. So we're going to use what we learned in the previous video on how to open uh, a file. And we're going to use the open function in Python. Okay, let's do that right away. So I'm just going to create a uh, variable fhand to save the handle of the file. So I'm going to use open. I'm going to give the um, romeo.txt, which is the file name we want to open. And I'm just going to open it in the read mode only since we only need to uh, read. Let's test if this is working. I'm going to iterate in the handle. So f for line in f hand. I'm just first I'm just trying to print every line. Okay, let's see if this uh, works. And okay, like in the previous video, we need to move to the folder where we have the script. Okay, so now I'm running this. And as you can see, it is printing everything like uh, we want we want it to. Okay, so uh, the exercise asks us to split the line into every line into a list of words using the split function. And for each word, check to see if it is already in a list. So uh, we need to initialize a list, an empty list, and then uh, check every word we, uh, we come up into the text file. And uh, if it is in the list, it, if it is already in the list, we do nothing. Otherwise, we uh, add it to the list. OK, so let's initialize a list we're going to call words. I'm just going to initialize this as an empty list. Now. Uh, for every line, we need to split it into uh, a list of words. How uh, we, we can do that using the split function in Python. And let's give it a try first. So print line dot split. And so to get to split the, uh, a sentence, which we have here, into uh, all the words, we need to split by the white space only since words are separated by a white space. So we're going to give the white space as an input here, only single a single white space. Let's see what this does. If we run this, let's see. OK. And this is exactly what we want in this case. We want every word in each line. OK, so now we can uh, check if now we need to iterate for every line inside uh, every line we need to iterate and check if all the words in that line I already are orle, uh, already in the list sorry so let's do this so now since we have line dot split here it's already a list we can iterate on it so what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to write for word in line.split here. So we have a nested loop inside uh, another loop. OK, what we want to check? We want to check if this word is already in the list of words. OK, so if word, uh, so it's better to check if it isn't in the list, so we can add it. 
and for uh, and we don't need to write an else statement at all. So if word not in words, what we're going to do is just words dot append, which means we're going to add an element to this words list, and we're just going to add the word. Okay, we don't need to write an else statement because we don't do nothing uh, after that. And then uh, we add it to the list. When the program completes, we just sort the list alphabetically and just print it. Okay, so now we should have the list right here. I'm just going to uh, sort the list alphabetically and then and I'm just going to print it. To sort the list, we can just use the function sort it. And I'm going to give words. And I can print this. Let's see what this does. And we get uh, the list of words, like uh, exactly what we want. We have the list of words, and it is already uh, alphabetically uh, sorted. Let's see. OK, so this is what we wanted in the first place. OK, guys, uh, I hope this was really clear, uh, the first exercise. Let's move on with the next one. I'm just going to close the terminal here. So, in the next exercise, we're just going to write a program to read through the mailbox data. Uh, if you remember, in the previous exercise, we downloaded the files mbox and mbox short. We're going to use uh, those again. So, we're going to read through the mailbox, and when you find the line that starts with from, we split the line into words, again using the split function. And we want to know who sent the message, which is the second word in the from line, and we want to print that. And also we need to count the number of lines which have from. Okay, and we need to print the count at the end. This is uh, really simple. So we can check, we, we can uh, get the program we wrote in the previous exercise. Okay, wait. Um, yeah, okay. So uh, we just need to take this mbox and mbox short. I'm just going to copy this into in here. And mbox short. Okay. Now uh, let me close this. Okay, so here we are. Here we are. First, we need to get uh, the input from the user on which file to read. So let's get that input from the user. Um, file name equals input. Enter um, enter a file name. Okay, now we need to open this file again using open. I'm going to give file name and in read mode. Now again we need to iterate on it line by line. Let's move this here for line in F hand. And we need to uh, split the line into words using the split function again. And uh, we just need to get the from, which is the second. So first we need to find all the lines which start with from. So. This is the condition if line dot starts with I'm going to write here from so this is what we want we need to uh, 
be careful here because it specifies that uh, we need to find all the uh, lines which start with from with the colon here okay so make sure to type it like this okay if we get this line then we're going to uh, split that line line dot split using the white space and now this is a list of all the words in that line which starts with from okay and after we split this we need to know who sent the message which is the second word on the uh, from line so since this is a list we need to get the second element in this list okay and how we get how do we get the second element uh, using the index and the index of the second element is always one since the first one it starts from zero okay so now this gives us the uh, the email which sent the email address which uh, sent this email let's just try to print this and see okay let's run this enter file name dot text okay so it seems to be working fine let's see if uh, let's see if we need something else Oh, we also need to count the lines okay so to do that we need to initialize first a count variable which will be zero okay this is standard and now we need to increment this count by one only if the line starts with from so only inside here count is plus bar which means uh, count is equal to count plus one it's just the shorthand okay so we print this and we also need to print the count in the end okay let's just do this print this message Okay, I'm just going to split this into count here and another string. Okay, let's run this again. So, enter the file mbox.txt. Mm -hmm. So, let's do this for mbox um, let's try this with mbox short okay and we get the result we want 27 lines just like the exercise specifies okay so this is all we need to do for this exercise let's move on to the uh, other one the last one for this chapter okay so we need to rewrite the program which prompts the user for a list of numbers if you remember we did this uh, before in the chapter about iteration but this time we're going to rewrite it and use a list it's much easier if we uh, will use a list right now okay we can go um, and take a look at the exercise we already solved so this was in if I remember in chapter yes no, not in chapter 4 it should be in chapter 5 yes okay so this is it we can copy and paste this okay let's close this one we are already we are here so if you uh, take a look this is much more complicated when we don't use a list so let's see how we would do this uh, with a list first of all we don't need the count anymore we just need to 
just initialize an empty list where we append every number that we get from the user. Okay, so I'm just going to call this uh, my nums and it is going to be an empty list. Okay, so while true, we get an input from the user. If it's done, uh, we break from the loop. Else we try to convert it into uh, a string, to convert it from the string into a float. And then we did all this logic here to uh, get the uh, max and min. So we don't need this anymore. Okay, so what we uh, just try to do here is just that while true and we get the input and it cuts through all of this, we just need to append it to the our list my nums. So my nums dot append the value. Okay. So now we have the list with all the numbers and to just print the mean and the max, we just use the built-in functions min and max. So if you do this min of my nums, it will give us the minimum of that list. And if we do this max of my nums, it will give us the maximum of that list. Okay, let's try this. So I'm going to enter the numbers 4, 5, 12, 0, minus 1, 23. And then I'm going to input done. So we get the minimum minus 1 and the maximum 23. Everything seems to work fine. Yes, you can see, guys, this is a much more shorter code than we uh, did in the previous chapters when we couldn't use lists since we hadn't uh, already introduced the concept. And here you can see the power of lists and of the built-in functions in Python. Okay, so uh, this was it for this exercise as well. Okay, guys, I hope uh, you found these uh, solutions helpful and I hope you continue to learn Python and you continue to check uh, your solutions with mine here and uh, don't give up on learning Python. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.